Ferguson. I'm from Concord, and I am in support of this bill. Uh, thank you for hearing my testimony. Um, the uh, previous, uh, a lot of the previous people giving testimony were uh, addressing a lot of the more technical aspects of this bill and why it would be logical to to switch to Atlantic Time. Um, I would like to go more for um, from a personal perspective. Um, I have a friend uh, who also lives in Concord. Um, who would have loved to have been here, but unfortunately her schedule, her work schedule didn't allow her to be here. So I'd, I'd like to um, basically, not testify on her behalf, but uh, share a personal story as far as her. So she has a young daughter who's a six year old. And um, so the twice a year switching of time zones here uh, greatly disrupts her, her daughter's schedule and consequently um, uh, her as well. Um, it might be it might be more obvious that in the spring when we uh, when we jump forward that that would be a disadvantage where it would be harder for her her daughter to wake up in the morning um, and then consequently she'd want to stay up later in the evening which happens but um, it's as much of a disadvantage in the fall uh, when we go back as well because um, she gets tired earlier in the evening, wants to go to bed earlier, and consequently um, tends to get up earlier in the morning, which uh, hurts her mother as well because it disrupts her sleep schedule too. Um, so the, the consistency of having the same time all year round would be of great benefit to her. And I imagine like she's not a unique case. I imagine like a lot of children like consistency in schedules um, so I think this would be, um, you know, a great benefit to, to children and the parents as well in not having to disrupt their schedules with a, the twice a year time shift. I'll take any questions. Okay. Okay. That's the last pink card I have for five, six, seven. Anything else out there who wishes to testify? Seeing none, I'll close the public hearing on House Bill 567. And we'll be back at 1 o'clock.